Is it diving that makes you happy? Good morning, baby. Rise and shine to this f***ing amazing, beautiful day. So we're going to Fujera to learn some diving. Meanwhile... <laughs> There's something I've been seeing lately. There's like a group of people that dives together and they seem like so happy, you know, they're like planning a trip and then they are talking about this dive. So I thought, let me go learn diving and see like, is it diving that makes me so happy? Because they seem so happy to me. And here we are. Let's go, baby. <laughs> We're gonna experience something new. It's gonna be diving. So let's see how I'm gonna feel experiencing the three things. The first of all is the diving. Second of all is the place. Third of all, the people that are here. Guys, I swear, for this diving lesson, I studied more than I studied for SAT. Even though I didn't study for SAT, but that's how I feel. It was the most boring part of the day. Now, let's go to the water. I go up. So the first dive is done. It's very cool. You learn a lot of information. And it takes you time to understand, like, you're just breathing on the water. And what's cool is what I noticed is, like, literally in my mind, all what it's doing is just thinking about breathing and looking at the fish and the water which is just focus on one thing it takes a lot of effort just to be focused on one thing because usually you're so distracted by whatever happens in the next to you so that's kind of interesting that's what i'm liking so far about diving now we're gonna have a break for half an hour and then we're gonna do the other dive it's we're gonna go deeper and like try to develop our skills finished the second dive today was a lot of information a lot of things focusing on who's doing what what's this move what's the signal all of that what I noticed like different thing than any, than any other day is like first of all we're in the water so I can't reach my phone second is I'm listening so much because there's so much information I need to learn and I need to know in the water so I was like not thinking about anything else other than that so for now I can't really claim how I feel it's because like there's so much happening like I'm still processing everything uh, studying and like understanding what's on the water and all that and then doing them all on the water but so far i love i love the experience it's a new dimension i believe it's it's weird for your mind a little bit because it's like you're on the water and you're breathing on the water so that's something new so let's see tomorrow how i'm gonna feel like diving literally and uh, if it's really like is it happiness because of you doing an experience or because something else so i'm gonna try to understand this maybe tomorrow We finished the day by chilling with those amazing people, having dinner together, playing some games, and I went to bed early so I could catch up the sunrise the next day. Every time when I wake up for a sunrise, when the alarm goes on, I'm like, ah, let me sleep for half an hour or one hour more. But I push myself a little bit and then move out of bed to witness this. Happiness is not something you... Okay, you were filming. Shubek, yeah, bird. There's people watching. Lower your voice a little bit. And I think this is the first thing that will make you happy. Not look at the things that you don't have, just appreciating the things that you do have. And I believe also, like, happiness is also a choice. You either say, I'm gonna be happy, or you say, I'm gonna just be however I, the day goes on. And it's a, it's a choice. I believe it's really a choice. Weirdly enough, because I've been like talking to the camp for a while now I literally guys feel that I'm really talking to each one of you and I can keep on talking you know now it's like it's been five minutes I'm sure I'm gonna edit this but I mean it's been five minutes and I keep and I can keep on talking which I believe there's a connection between me and you very weird I know but this is honestly what I'm feeling right now I swear I feel like a kid watching the sunrise the first time it's crazy man Morning jet ski ride. Let's go. Let's go, baby! And we're on day 
two. Single. Let's go, baby. It's amazing. Guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video for the algorithm, like that, you'll be supporting me and let's live more than you can ever imagine. Now I'm gonna lead you to enjoy the rest of the video. Dive number three is done. It's really nice, but I'm still searching for what does that really make them happy. Oh, it's cool. Like you're experiencing it. Uh, nice fish, nice life underwater. But what is it really? What is it? What does it make that difference? We still have one more dive, but this one is like more free, and we're gonna go like deeper in the water. So I'm really, I want to see like why they are always that happy. Lunch is being prepared, huh? Number four. Now we're gonna go open water. Is it the open water that makes you really feel like uh, out of this world? So how to be happy? It's not diving, nor having, or doing anything that made me feel happy. But I realized in those two days, being fully present and cutting out all the distractions, being fully present, watching the sunrise, watching the sunset, diving, meeting all those people, it is at this moment that I felt really happy. So I believe being happy is just being fully present in whatever you're doing. And as always, let's live.